Well, hello, gentlemen. How are you today? Man, it's another day in the crazy world we live in of chaos and drama. It's like being in a soap, isn't it? But there's a few bright spots, isn't there? That Somalit, or whatever you call him, got his canuppance. Well, got some of canuppance. Man, he's such a good standard man that he took it like a man, didn't he? Uh, no, he didn't. He showed everybody what a crazy fool he really is. And he needs some professional help. He should feel very lucky that I wasn't the judge. Then the powers that be should be looking at Kim Fox next, I would think. Don't you? But the feminines of today's world are getting crazier and crazier. And completely out of touch with reality, aren't they? They're wondering why men are walking away. Actually, most of them are running away. I mean, I think I know why, don't you guys? But let me explain it in another way. Here where I live in the UK, there's lots of dogs. And dogs can be a plus in somebody's family and be company for people. But the problem is owning a dog in the area I'm in in the UK is a very heavy responsibility. The dog usually has to be tied up or on a lead all the time. You have to clean up their poo. There's only certain places you can take the dog. And when you go away on holiday, you have to give the dog to somewhere else or pay money for it to be kept. Vet bills are expensive as well. And you have to take the dog for at least one walk, probably two, every day. So for me, that cancels out having a dog here. There's too much responsibility and too much work. Plus, of course, there's the expense of it as well. Now, when I was in Canada, I used to have dogs there. Never were on a lead. We lived in a small town. Then the dog just used to be there. Of course, he used to feed the dog. Then it would come inside when it wanted and go outside when it wanted. So a dog in that place was a plus. Hardly any work and lots of loyal friendship from the dog. Then, of course, the dog could actually be a dog. Most of the dogs in the UK here have no idea what a real dog is supposed to be like. Because they're not really pets. They're accessories. And basically, that's really what femons have become. They become far too much work for the men. They need far too much attention. It's not the femon trying to keep the man happy. It's the other way round. Then, of course, for the man, it's the expense. So basically, femons, the juice ain't worth the squeeze no more. They become far too much work for the man. They're not an asset in any way. They're more like a big stone round his neck. They will never stop moaning and never be satisfied. And although in my area, owning a dog is a big, big responsibility and a lot of work, it's still a far better option than having a femon. Oh, and of course, the dogs would be far more loyal than any femon I've ever met. So keep walking away, guys. You're doing the right thing. Femons have become only good for one thing, and that wanes quickly. It does seem kind of sad that you can have a better relationship with a dog than you can have with a modern femon of today. Now I'm just about to go downtown. I haven't been downtown for many years. So God knows what I'm going to see. But I may make a video when I come back to tell you. Now you take it easy out there, guys. And don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs>